Hello guys, welcome back to my another After Effects tutorial, in this tutorial, we are going to see, how to create, simple fire logo animation in After Effects, without use of any plugin, so without any wait, let's see the preview. Here I have already imported my logo. So now let's start creating our logo animation. Now create a new composition. Let's name it as logo animation. Make sure frame rate is set to 30 frames per second. Let's set time duration to 8 seconds. Perfect. Now let's first create a background layer. Create a new solid. Name it as background. Now in effects and preset, search for ramp, add it to the solid background layer. Let's change the start and end color. Here you can set any color you want for your background. Perfect. Now let's add logo to the timeline. Scale your logo if needed, here I will scale my logo. Perfect. Now let's pre-compose the logo. Name it as logo. Perfect. Now let's create a new solid. Name it as noise. Now in effects and preset, search for fractal noise, add it to solid noise layer. Now make sure you are at start of the timeline. Now for fractal noise. Create a keyframe for brightness. Change brightness to minus 100. Now at 4 seconds. Change brightness value to 100. Now you can see the preview. Perfect. Now in transform. Change scale value to near about 220. Now change complexity to 12. Now for evolution. Press the Alt key and click the stopwatch. This will open the expression. Now enter expression, time 75. Perfect. Now in effects and preset. Search for curves. Add it to solid noise layer. Now you need to adjust the curves as shown. Now for logo composition. Change track mat to, luma mat noise. Now you can see the preview. Perfect. Now select noise and logo composition. Pre-compose them. Name it as noise. Now position the noise layer at 1 second. Now for noise composition. Press Ctrl plus D to create a duplicate. Now for above noise composition. In effects and preset, search for tint. Add it to noise composition. Now for tint, change map white color to orange color. Now in effects and preset, search for glow, add it to noise composition. Now for glow, change glow radius to 75. 
Now for noise composition. Press T to bring up the opacity. Now at 2 seconds. Create a keyframe for opacity. Now at 4 seconds. Change opacity value to 0. Now let's see the preview. Perfect. Now let's add the logo composition to the timeline. Now in effects and preset. Search for fill. Add it to logo composition. Now change fill color to white. Now in effects and preset. Search for Vegas. Add it to logo composition. Now for Vegas. Change blend mode to stencil. Now change segment to 2. Now change length to 0 0.700. You can see the outline for our logo. Now let's make them rotate over the logo. For rotate. Press Alt and click on stopwatch of rotation. This will open the expression. Now enter time 70. Now for logo composition, press T to bring up the opacity. Now at 1 second, create a keyframe for opacity. Now at start of the timeline, change opacity value to 0. Now at 3 seconds, create a keyframe for opacity. Now at 4 seconds, change opacity value to 0. Now for logo composition. Press Ctrl plus D to create a duplicate for logo composition. Now remove the fill effect from above logo composition. Now select both logo composition. Pre-compose them. Name it as outline. Now for outline composition. In effects and preset. Search for curves. Add it to outline composition. Now adjust the curves as shown. Now in effects and preset. Search for fractal noise. Add it to outline composition. Now for fractal noise, change contrast to 370. Now change brightness to minus 30. Now change blending mode to multiply. Now in effects and preset, search for tritone. Add it to outline composition. Now change tritone color as shown. Now in effects and preset. Search for glow. Add it to outline composition. Now again add glow effect. Now for second glow. Change glow threshold to 45%. Change glow radius to 37. Now in effects and preset. Search for turbulent displays. Add it to outline composition. Now for turbulent displays, change amount to 80. Now change size to 4. Now for evolution. Press Alt and click on evolution stopwatch. This will open the expression. Now enter, time 2500. Now for outline composition, change mode to add. Now let's see the preview. 
perfect. Now let's create another duplicate of outline composition. Press Ctrl plus D to create a duplicate. Now for created duplicate composition. For glow. Change glow threshold to 24%. Change glow radius to 24. Now again create duplicate of outline composition. For glow. Change glow threshold to 14%. Now again create duplicate of outline composition. For glow. Change glow threshold to 32%. Change glow radius to 50. Perfect. Now let's see the preview. Perfect. Now select all compositions. Recompose them. Name it as main. Now change main composition to 3D. Now create a new camera. Now create a new null object. Change Null Object to 3D. Now for Camera Layer, parent it to Null Object. Now for Null Object press P to bring up the position. Now create a keyframe for position. Now change position value for Z axis to 1000. Now at end of the timeline. Change position value for Z axis to minus 1000. Now if you want to add rotation for this intro, then press R to bring up the rotation. Now add 3 seconds. Create a keyframe for Z rotation. Now at start of the timeline, change Z rotation to 40 degrees. Or if you don't want to add rotation then you can skip this step. Now let's see the preview. Perfect. Here our simple fire logo animation tutorial is complete. Thank you guys for watching this tutorial. If you like this tutorial, then make sure to like and share this video, and also subscribe to my channel. Thank you.